Now, one thing I did in industry that kind of bit me, right, is I did something, and I had a good reason for doing this. It wasn't necessarily this example, but it was something else. My class, my class of string. Or it could be int char. It doesn't really matter here. But notice I have a generic type, and I'm passing in as an argument another, the same generic type. It could be a different generic type. It doesn't really matter. Another generic type. Uh, and then here I actually say string. Okay, so kind of got some weird stuff going on here. Where, uh, well, okay, Th think I'm going to get rid of all this because I think we're done with that. What's the output going to be when I execute this code? All right, because I'm I'm basically saying, hey, I want a my class of my class. So you'd think that uh, uh, touching this and then touching that would would cause this static constructor to execute twice. Let's hit F10 and watch the output. Notice the output. All right, how does that compare to our code? We only have one static constructor executing, and it's the outermost one. We have my class backtick of my class backtick one of string. Okay, the the inner my class string dot value did not execute. In order to get it to execute, I actually have to touch that type directly. If I can value gets twenty, and now we'll see both static constructors execute. Well, when I hit this issue, I thought it was a bug with the with the, the .NET runtime. So I actually submitted this to Microsoft as a bug, hoping that they could either alleviate the problem, because I was relying on this behavior to work differently than what I thought it should be. Um, but instead, they reported back and said, that's actually the, the uh, prescribed behavior. Well, this goes back a little bit to uh, open and close types, which I haven't really talked about, but an open type is a type that takes a generic argument, and there's a lot of details you can read online and in books about open and closed types, but essentially the open type is, hey, this thing is open, we, we haven't really defined what T is, it's open to be a lot of things. Okay, to actually close it, well, I've closed it right here, I've, I've taken it as far as I can, I say, hey, T is now a string, so I've defined a closed type here. Okay, now I actually kind of have uh, two closed types here, I have, this is a closed type, but then I've closed this outer type by using this inner type that has the type of string. Okay, and this is the only class I'm actually using. I never actually am using this class, my class. This is the actual class I'm instantiating, or I'm actually doing anything with. I'm not doing anything with this innermost generic argument. Thus, we only see the constructor execute for the outermost one, and not the innermost one until we actually do something with the innermost one. If we don't actually do anything with that innermost one, we won't see the static constructor execute for that at all. I've introduced the term of open types and closed types. This is an open type, whereas when we instantiate uh, an instance of that type, we make a closed type. We've closed it up here. We can also have open closed types, something you can read about on the web. I'm not going to get into, but but basically, this is a type you can do stuff with. You can touch it, you can use it, you can instantiate instances of it. You're good to go. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is not a type as well. It is a generic type. It's still compiled to the missile. We'll see in a later video. I can even say, uh, if I remember right, CW a type of my class. Okay, notice I didn't pass any arguments there. I want to actually get the type object for my class. I can't instantiate an instance of this. Okay, I can't go out here and say my class empty and gets new. You can see the IntelliSense isn't even agreeing with me, okay? But it's still a, a type, and I can query it using type of. If you go look at the reflection videos and learn about reflection and why that's important, um, then then cool. But it's still a type. It's just an open type, not a complete type, not a type I can instantiate. Here, let me just execute this and show you the output. Notice my class, tick one, of T. Now, now I'm curious if I rename this to whatever it is. It still say... Oops, what are you complaining about? Oh, of course, I ghibli got that, so I got ghibli got that. All right, but here we go. Okay, yeah, it does maintain the type argument uh, name. Very good. All right, so open types, closed types, static constructors, that kind of stuff.